What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Modern Cube Draft uh, here on Magic the Gathering. So we are getting... we. If you guys were watching the last video, you may know that Kerwit ordered us some cake. Turns out it was some cheesecake, and uh, it actually looks pretty appetizing, even though there are some components that are see-through, which is interesting. The green screen's really taking a bite out of this bad boy. But, um, yeah, so the delivery guy got here with this, and we both just laughed. Like, I was like, <laughs> I grab the bag, I start laughing. He laughs with me. And then we both laugh. He like he laughed back to the car, and I laughed in the side. And I'm like we just knew because it's funny, because we're both like, yeah. Here's just a, he like hands it to me, and he's like, here's just a piece of cake. Here you go. And I was like, I I didn't order this for myself. I, I promise. But uh, here we are. And uh, let's see how it is. Co, it's it's also Elk Tears birthday, which is why we did this. And by we, I mean Kerwood, I guess. This is pretty good. I don't know where this is from, but it's not bad. Anyway, in honor of Valkyrie's birthday, we're going to do salted caramel cheesecake from Fat Cat Tavern. I've actually never been there, but um, yeah, it's all right. I'm a, I'm a I'm a fan. And the stipulation in honor of Valkyrie's birthday is you must draft elks. You must draft any woodland critter type creatures, excluding beasts. Excluding beasts? That's weird. And you must draft sad looking cards, crying tears, depression. Real dark. Must draft solemn simulacrum if able. So, let's get sad. All right. Elkters, if you have any opinions on this, um, feel free to chime in. I mean, this is a woodland creature, and he also looks kind of sad as well. So I feel like this is a, a pretty easy first pick. Look how sad this dude looks. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go that guy. Also, yeah, Court of Calling is particularly woodland themed. All the eyeballs on Blink also make me sad. Does it matter if it makes you sad? Hmm. Well, this pack is interesting. Spellskite's kind of sad looking. These souls are pretty sad looking. I'm not sure anything else is really sad in this pack. Spellskite is very sad. <laughs> I think we'd go. I'd go with Souls over Spellskite because those are uh, surprisingly sad guys, boys, gentle, gentle people. We'll go with Souls. Do you guys hear this cat? Oh, this Mortify. Look, this guy is. This guy is. At, wait, no, it's too late now. It's already done. Damn. <laughs> Wolverine, what's going on? This Mortify has to be the saddest card ever, right? Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll do Mortify. It also goes well with our Lingering Souls pick, so. All right. Well, this guy's a beast, although woodland as he is. Uh Oh, do you think Thrun is sad because he's the last troll? I would imagine Thrun is probably the saddest card in this pack because of his soul, his lonely trollness. Mm, no, you're not sad. You're weird. Hmm. These guys are probably pretty depressed because they're fighting in an arena. A drop of humanity for a sea of power seems pretty sad. These guys in the foreground are probably pretty upset about this acidic slime. I don't know if the slime itself is sad. I can't vouch for that, but the guys that's fighting are definitely upset. So here's the thing. I think Negate, I think Lava Coil probably has the most distressed look. But considering I, I would rather stay on, on color, uh, I think we can make very good arguments for both of these as well. Although, I'm not sure which. I'm going to take the Acidic Slime. I think that guy's pretty sad. If I was a big green slime, I would be sad. You're right. That's a good... 
Hmm. People go to Crips and are sad. Well, maybe they do. Yeah, Maskworm is definitely not the saddest creature here. Kerwit, thank you so much for the cheesecake. Really appreciate it, buddy. As always, you are the best. I, I think... I, I think this guy is definitely not sad. I think we're just gonna say Crux of Fate. I think I think it's probably sad. Actually, Whisperwood is like the most. It literally has wood in the name, right? Um, is Avison sad? I don't know. Is Mimic Vat sad? I don't know. Probably not. I don't think that's how bats work. <laughs> this is sad god of the dead is probably sad actually maybe that's true is is Scoo sad i think avison's probably pretty sad i mean she look how she's angry does angry count look how angry she gets isn't she on a killing spree and doesn't know why yeah i think that's probably accurate Scoo's doesn't even have bones that is pretty sad is this dog sad? He looks pretty sad. This also looks pretty... This looks upset. I don't know if these are sad. Thorn Lieutenant? Eh. Like, this dude... Like, his ears are down. Like, this guy just looks sad. I don't know if this... Uh, could a cemetery be sad? I would take the cemetery. All right, we'll take the dismember because I think because Elktir says he thinks it's the saddest. I think Court of Calling is very woodland. I don't think Demon Lord Belzenlock is sad. I wouldn't use sad to describe Demon Lord Belzenlock. Oh, the spell sky came back, which we agreed was sad, so that's fine. Oh, Blooming Marsh, I guess. I can't, I have no idea if this creature is sad or not. It's a machine, so probably not. Isolated Chapel. It's isolated. I'm going to take the Isolated Chapel because it's isolated. That's sad. Being isolated is sad. I don't think any of these cards are... I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any inherent sadness in any of these cards. Same thing here. Rootbound Crag, like, it's got a, a lone dinosaur in the background. He looks like he's having a sad time. Oh, and Erebos came back. We have Erebos and his whip. His whip. This guy doesn't look sad. He looks like he's... Eh, you look surprised. You don't look sad. This guy's remorseful. That's kind of sad. Doomblade, this angel's having a bad day. Liliana is mad sad. We're just, I wonder how many times we're going to say sad in, the, in this stipulation. That angel's effing bummed right now. <laughs> Which one? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, all right, we can take Liliana. Liliana can be our big sadness. Elk Tears said do. Oh, another Liliana. How many Lilianas is too many? Hmm. E-Witness doesn't look happy, that's for sure. I don't think Una looks... I don't think there's any evidence that Una's sad. She seems sad. <laughs> oh, man.
What about Duplicant? The guy on Duplicant is is looking pretty upset. This guy's having a bad day. Yeah, I I think I think that's I think we can do that. You're not sad. This guy is sad. This guy's angry, but it's a beast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just never return here. All right. How sad is Gonti? I think because it's your birthday, Stiff, we just have to take the Gonti, right? Seems like a pretty easy choice to me. Must take. Yep, agreed. Um, hmm. I don't think this pack is particularly sad. Anafenza is kind of sad, I guess. This is making it hard to play. Oh, actually, is Karn sad? I don't know. All right, we'll go Karn. Also, Karn has a history of being sad, so I, I can get behind that. This guy doesn't look sad. This guy looks sad. This guy looks upset. Also, there's a plow under. I don't know if, if the earth can look sad. All right, we'll take the unburial rights. Plow under does make our opponent sad. This crocodile is pretty sad. This guy's not sad. This guy looks angry. Soren, eh. Collected company, meh. I think it's actually languish here, maybe. No. You look upset. You got some teeth. You look upset too. I feel like <clears throat> probably the better card for our deck is Rattleclaw Mystic, but I don't know if he's particularly the saddest creature. I think it's Greyborn Muse. Mystic is a she, and she seems not thrilled. That's probably true. Uh, Jade Light Ranger, you don't look... None of these creatures look upset. We could just take Razor Verge Thicket. It'd probably be easy on our lives. Jade Light Ranger, not terrible, but I don't think we're... Wait. Those mirrors, though. Are they sad? They look like they're determined. Unless you mean the ones in the ball. All right, we'll take that. It's probably Dungeon Geists here. I don't know, maybe the ears and mirrors are into it though. Yeah, it's possible. I think we're just taking Dungeon Geists for the sadness. Um. Yeah, we're just going to take Gear Hulk. I, I don't know if it's the saddest, but it, it's definitely not. Uh, Disfigure was definitely on my radar for being sad, so that's nice. Gary! None of these cards can have any any sadness claim. Oh, Dreadshade? Interesting. Uh, This is Concealed. Maybe that's... Is it Dreadshade? Are we just like mono black sadness? No, we took the courtyard, so we're not. Oh, Doom Whisperer. That guy looks angry. You look a little down. Veraska. This guy's definitely not having a good day. I think it's either Devoted Druid or Vraska's Contempt in terms of, like, sadness. 
<laughs> Her gifts weren't given. We do have unbarrel rights. We can cut the green and be Esper. Contempt does lead to sadness. All right, we'll take the gifts. And we might cut green. Uh, God, there's no real sadness in this pack. Soren Grim Nemesis seems like he would be sad. I'm prime prime purchase of sadness over elkness. Well, I feel like that's what we've been doing. There's very few elk elkness cards here. I think Grim Nemesis is probably the the most frustrated. I don't think any of these guys are s sad in any way, shape, or form. Like he just seems angry. Blank Sun Zenith seems like a sad thing. That's true. Hmm. It's up to you. You're telling you tell me. I'm trying to finish this this cheesecake so that we're we can move on. Mm. Speak of the devil, there's some sadness and anguish done making, that's for sure. Collective brutality, nothing great on the art. You don't seem sad. I think it's probably just anguish in the making. Actually, we could I could make it we can argue me for fumigate with all the all the sadness in the foreground here. Yeah, actually he's killing Yeah. We'll just go with the Anguished. Hmm. I don't think Bitter Blossom is sad. I don't think Dream Eater is sad. I don't think you're sad. Vampire Hexmage? Maybe sad? I don't even know. This pack's kind of a toss-up here. <laughs> One has Anguish in the name. Fair. Hero's Downfall seems fine. I don't know if we're playing the gifts here. That's what I was leaning towards. This guy is not having a good day. You're not sad. No, no. <laughs> this guy's having a good time. I don't think League has any sadness. In fact, like... How many times has Mana League made you sad? This is actually Grave. I'm going to take the Grave... Because it may let us play gifts, and it's also a grave. And there's a definitely an inherent sadness in a grave. Oh, Midnight Reaper, huh? I think Reaper is probably where you want to be. Yeah, Midnight Reaper is a pretty easy pick here. Our deck has a very high curve. Grave Titan? Jesus, that's the saddest thing I've ever seen. That was a late Grave Titan. Yeah. Very sad. Oh, Doom Whisper? This guy is not having a good day either. Wow, our deck is pretty nuts right now, actually. Hmm. The Black Sun Zenith came back. Fumigate came back, which I was making an argument for, because these, these gremlins are dying. They're literally fumigating these gremlins. Although I, I think a two-drop is probably better for our deck. 
Bribery isn't as good in the modern cube. I'm going to take Fumigate because I think it's more on point with the stipulation. This guy seems fine. Glint Sleeve. You guys. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't think anything here is really sad. I'll just take Mirror Entity. I don't know. Uh, Same thing here. Yeah, that's a late Coligon's command. Because being a siphoner is a hard life. Wow, this is a... We could actually go mono black, I bet. We also have Grey Merchant, Dreadwander, and, like, Gravecrawler. Wow. What does the mono black version of the deck look like? And we also have, like, Spell Sky if we really want to bring something in. Which I think is actually fine in the main deck, maybe? We have Erebos and Whip of Erebos. And Grave Muse. Where the X is the number of zombies. We have, like, Zombie, Zombie, uh, Midnight Reaper is a zombie, Emmet Eternal is a zombie. How much black removal do we have? A good amount, actually. <laughs> a surprising amount. Black Sun Zenith, Never Return. Uh, we also picked up the Hero's Downfall. We have a Languish. We could probably cut Unbarrel Rights, or we could just play it off of, like, Courtyard and Isolated Chapel, but I think it's just we just don't really need it. I also don't think we need the Mirror Battle Sphere here. Oh, we also have Duplicate, yeah. And Noxious Gear Hulk, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I think we have a good amount of removal here. We need one cut if we want to play mono black. Also, I wish I wish we didn't misclick on the uh, the dread uh, dread shade. I think we can cut black sun or languish. Probably languish. I think black sun's probably better. My problem with Lingering Souls is that you have to have the white to use it, whereas you don't have to have the white to use Unbarrel Rights. And we don't really have many ways to just discard this. If we had Liliana of the Veil, I would probably bring in Lingering Souls because it gives us another way to get rid of it if we don't have the white. Uh, we could actually splash white, but we don't really need to is the problem. Like, we have plenty of removal. Yeah, this deck looks pretty sweet. We could also technically play Watery Grave for Spell Skite activation, just to save us life. I'm surprised how... I, I guess I'm not really that surprised because, like, if we're doing a stipulation of sadness, it makes sense that a lot of the cards would be black. But we're also getting, like, last pick Grave Crawler, second to last pick Grey Merchant. So, I mean, like, it's not... Actually, Dismember is more like a two-drop anyway, so that's actually better for the curve. Stream shouldn't be breaking for anyone else. Like I actually only dropped seventy-two frames total, and we are in, we're in the green right now. So, yeah, that was like a third third to last pick grave titan. Do we want to hand with four four three four drops? I don't think so. Although it's no, nah, we got a mulligan in this hand. This is not that much better, but I'm gonna keep it. <clears throat> oh yeah, put you on top. Did you check your internet connection? Did you unplug it and plug it back in again? <clears throat> oh, 
Also, being able to just grave Graveborn Muse next turn and draw two cards a turn if they can't deal with it is pretty strong. Which is a possibility. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I'm going to go for the two cards a turn. <clears throat> this guy can block, which is pretty interesting. Which means I'm going to keep both guys back, because I'd rather be able to block a Geist of St. Traff than have them, like, kill this, attack for six. I don't think we're winning that race. Especially if we're taking... I guess those aren't going to be... Oh, I see. So this is a 4-4? Four, four? Oh. All right. We get to draw two, and we get to never the Sublime Archangel? That's pretty great. <clears throat> or we can dismember it. Which is probably better. Uh, we're actually going to attack with this, because if they want to kill our Dreadwander... Um, we can just draw three cards next turn. That's pretty nuts. Emuria Angel. No land. Okay. Well, this is coming up. This is this is working out well for us. We are playing Liliana's Majesty. It's in the deck. You mean Liliana's the one that <clears throat> Oh, we're definitely we're definitely playing it. It makes two three threes. <clears throat> oh man, Whip of Erebos here seems great. Like, we're drawing infinite cards here. This is pretty nuts. I kind of want to... Oh, they did, have, <clears throat> they did have land. Okay. So we kind of want to kill this, but then also, like, play Liliana here. Yeah, we're doing that. We can gain life next turn. I probably should have played this first because Spell Pierce is a card. So if we play this first, we can still pay for a Spell Pierce. Whereas if we play this second... Uh, they can't spell pierce this. Thankfully, Liliana is not a uh, zombie because I'm really not in the mood to be uh, drawing a million cards a turn. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna trade with the bird. We'll draw one less card, but I think only drawing three cards next turn is fine. Oh, because also Liliana would have flipped, which is pretty huge. I'm actually pretty impressed with what's happening right now, so. <clears throat> oh yeah, that guy's not gonna do it. Draw three. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> I think we just wanna actually play Whip of Erebos here. We also get to keep a hero's downfall. God, Mastery seems real good, dude. I think I just want to play it safe here. I think I counter this? No. Oh, that's huge. <clears throat> I'm actually going to leave... Nah, leave this guy back. I think we're, like, so far ahead that even if they want to trade, like, Geist of St. Traps and, like, a bird token for this, it's fine. Really? So Liliana gets to flip here. I 
<laughs> Does it even matter we discard? <clears throat> Probably a swamp. I think it's fine. And then we get to cast Grave Crawler. Nimble Obstructionist. Okay, that's fine. Cast Grave Crawler. Cast Hex Mage. So I guess they could attack with <clears throat> Bird and Vampire Zombie. Angel. <coughs> Clear the old throat arena. Oh, that's a good one. That's nice. Doesn't have haste though. Did you did you guys hear the news about Lyra not having haste? I am not gonna do anything here. Except for draw four cards. <laughs> And that's how we decked ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Dear God. This is so many lands. This is not a reasonable number of lands. Let's kill this. Immediately. Oh, can we just... Is this just lethal? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're just gonna... This is just murder. This is just... Straight murder. Oh, we needed one more. We could have played, like... I guess we couldn't have played anything else, to be honest. <clears throat> they conceded from the game. We didn't have any other permanents that we could have played instead of Hero's Downfall, so probably important. Wow. Seems good. <laughs> Can't deck yourself. You can Black Sun Zenith every turn. Um, it's not true that, like, if we draw two cards a turn, though, before we get to cast a Black Sun Zenith, we would die. Um. Yeah, I don't think we really need anything particularly here. <coughs> Is that a bug? Is what, <clears> Leon <throat> should be two pips? Should be two pips? Um... I actually don't know. I know that they changed it so that like her converted mana cost is the same. I don't know that means. I don't know. Magic's hard. <laughs> just just draw the same cards in the same order. That, yeah, Monsonster, that, that got a little dark, buddy. A little dark. Everyone knows tears are the best part of the elk. Actually, it would make Flint sense that flip walkers don't count because they are exiled. I don't know if that makes sense, though. This hand seems pretty rough. I'm going to mulligan it. This seems a lot better. I'm going to keep that on top because I'm not a lunatic. Man, anybody got time for that. So can we go turn three, dismember, turn four, <clears throat> Gonti, turn five, Erebos, turn six, Gray Merchant? Gray Marchant? No blocks good, sir. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Daylight it's, it's all downhill from here. Oh, I see. That is hard for the black deck to deal with. For sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Butter my biscuits. We really needed a land here. Oh my god. Sort of Light and Shadow is problematic. We're probably boarding into Anguished Unmaking. Yikes. Don't be like that. Gary Marchant. Yeah, he's from the French. This is, uh, my name is uh, Zigere Machant, eh? Um, we're gonna Gonti. 
Actually, I don't care if you hit us with this. Oh, Geist of Saint Traft. That's a good one, dude. I think. Yeah, we'll attack. Because we ain't blocking. They did miss a land. If they hit a land, they could actually go activate equip. But it's not that great because they don't have anything to get back. So they're just like, deal four, gain three life. And I'm like, eh. Be. Can you get rid of my Gonti? Wow, that's rude. Why are you the way that you are? I think I actually, with when they don't have anything on board, I kind of just want the Geist of St. Traft here. We could play Erebos, but it doesn't do anything. And even if we play Grey Merchant after that, it still doesn't really do much. But it's, it's, let's just keep Dismember up so our Geist can likely get through. Sword doesn't gain life with Erebus in play. Ooh, that's gas. Happy 420 from California. California, here we come. Right back where we started from. Hustles, grab your guns, shut us like a dump. <coughs> Looking out for number one. Do you guys know that uh, that Phantom Planet song? So they take, what, eight here? And then we play an Erebus and they can't gain life. And if they want to like go activate equip, they can do that, but that's not really that great. And our gray merchant gets real scary in a minute. <coughs> it's actually, yeah, this actually was look how sad this guy is. We only stole we stole a sad card. I'm from California. It's all connected. It is. It's all connected. Phantom Planet. He's a here. Wait, no. I don't think so. That doesn't sound right. <clears throat> Gonna take pollution down to zero. Bad guys who like to loot and plunder. You'll pay for this planet. All right, so we're just attacking with everything. I assume you're blocking with Mutavolt, which is fine because you're missing land drops as is. <clears throat> we can also draw a card before we play either one of these. Yikes. So you block here, you take six, you go to three. You're... Really? What's happening right now? No guts, no glory, I guess. Okay, we just win the game. Alrighty then. So with all the global warming stuff coming, officially call Captain Planet a failure? Um, I don't know. It's like, I mean, I don't I don't think Captain Planet's lesson was really directed at multi-million dollar corporations, you know? Gary wins every game you cast Gary in. I've never cast a Grey Merchant and then not proceeded to win the game. That's how that works. Bad guys who like to loot and plunder. You'll pay for this planet. The power is yours. Oh, Frank, you've never played my inexplicably bad mono black popper deck. I've cast three Garys and still lost. <laughs> oh, well. That's really sad. Uh, you might want to change the deck, actually. I feel like the, the, correct, the correct response to that situation is just, uh, you know, change the deck a little bit. Make it suck less.
I feel like we got lucky last round, I'm going to be honest with you. Their deck didn't seem fantastic. I'm going to keep this hand. <laughs> Rise Pikachu. Oh, God, it gets me every time. Gets me every time. <clears throat> so we can go turn two this, turn three this, turn four this, and then we're good to go. Ooh. You gonna remand this? Oh, remand it back to your head. I don't want you to have this card. Uh, that's fine. One hundred make it suck less equals best advice ever. Yeah, well, I got an idea for your deck. Did you ever try to make it suck less? <clears throat> Seems like a solid strategy. I'm no expert or anything, but uh, make your deck suck less. Eh. Oh, 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 cancel. Yes, yeah, so see, the first thing you want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is make your deck suck less. You can be one too, because saving our planet is the thing to do. Looting and polluting is not the way. The time has come, I have to leave. Thank you for honoring me in the stream. I think you got this under control. Let's go on on black. I'll catch this final. This is rude. This is unbelievable. <clears throat> well, you should check the final two rounds, because you're basically leaving in the very, very beginning of this round. So, you know. Oh, they got the sad robot. Look, this sad robot was played literally because you're leaving. It's perfect. Oh, Lord. Unbelievable. four cards we have an even number of cards in hand this chat is incredible you guys look at this this is beautiful wow little willy with the surprise pikachu emotes dang well that's pretty good yep i don't get to draw any extra cards that would have been cool if i could though I paid for them, damn it. That's true. That's fair. I can't even argue with that. They are yours to do with as you see fit. Hmm. Hmm. Well... I guess we're going to just pass here after attacking for a million. So they get another land and they get a thing. That's gross. Well, I don't really want you to do any of this. None of this is good. Is it worth trading this for this, though? And just being able to resolve this when they still might have mana leak or remand. I guess it's fine. God, they get so much value, though. It's 
It's basically like the most value I've ever seen in my life. Oh, thank goodness it resolves. That's gas. Gasoline in the gas tank. I got a little gasoline in my gas tank. It's an old-timey jam that I'm singing. I made it up, but it's still old-timey. Have a howie day. <clears throat> I hope you don't have an answer for my Grave Titan. I see. How nice. We're all very proud of you. Is it time to order the pizza yet? No, not yet. I don't think it will be. I gotta get out of here after this and go do things. I gotta do real life things. <laughs> Brian shows up. He's just like, "Was it? You guys want to order pizza?" I will block one. We'll do a one for one. You can have your card. I'll allow it. Like take pictures of Spider Man. Uh, well, he is a menace, so... Well, that's sad. Listen, Turbear. Looting and polluting is not the way. <clears throat> I kind of want to bring an anguish on making for this deck. They have three cards, and they have a shell dock aisle with a thing under it. The power is yours. Tempest Gin. All right. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Mother of God. I guess I'll go to two and keep my fingers crossed for an answer. That's cute. Oh yeah, that's the end. Sweet Bragg, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate the support. You're the hero we need, not the one we deserve though. All right, so. Hmm. We are gonna bring in, we're gonna take out Duplicate. We're gonna bring in Soren. Bring in Anguished Unmaking. Take out Disfigure. And actually, this being able to kill an enchantment is also pretty good. We'll bring that in. We'll take out a dismember. I'll bring in these two and probably at least two planes. And we can go one, two, three, four. That seems good. <clears throat> I don't really care about the lingering souls here. It's a good card, but. Uh, disfigure and dismember. Ha 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 ha! I'm gonna mulligan this hand, which has multiple six drops. Oh, this hand's good. Um, actually, that guy's aggressive enough that I will keep it. It's also a zombie, so if our grave digger, grave crawler dies, we get it back. We can recast. You're gonna kill my grave crawler? gonna condemn it to a fate uh, worse than death no you're merely going to crack your arid mesa at the earliest opportunity for no real value <clears throat> sure In the same way that bacon is an okay food. Oh, so, so you agree that it is an, a completely overrated card. Uh, 
that people obsess over. Interesting take. I agree with you. Really? I had no idea. Oh, yeah? This is actually a pretty good position we're in. We get to deal six here, put the nine. All the counters get removed. We have a spell sky, so they need at least two pieces of removal unless they just untap and go day of judgment. Day of judgment. Other than rise and the church where her wedding has been. Lives in a dream and day of judgment. Oh, I think this game is over, I'm sure. Drawing some cards all the lonely people. Where do they all belong? Yeah, I don't care about this at all. All the lonely people. Burr, 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 burr. <coughs> Uh, let's unmake you. I don't care about any of these. And we will play this because we want to be able to play this if we hit one more land. Go to... Go to three. That's nice, but we're one point away from actually having both creatures be lethal. Oh, actually, well, if they crack this, we get to do the thing. They got they cracked Arid Mesa and they got a plane, so I don't think they have a hollowed fountain. They also have a windswept teeth so like they have windswept teeth and a an arid mesa but they only have planes that's interesting seven mana that's a lot you can do pretty much anything you want here I actually don't care about this can't really do anything about it anyway but you actually can't block this right so that's fascinating attack your face with both <clears throat> Okay, so you're just dead from Afflict? Cool. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Afflict is a hell of a drug. Wow, that was pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. So we're going to take the Black Sun Zenith out and bring in the Lingering Souls. I like that better. We have four white sources for four white cards. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, we got one of our white sources. We also have two six drops. We're on a draw. What if we get lands, 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 right? We just still don't have a good game here. This I'm going to have to keep because... It 
it's a better curve by a, a lot. We have a one drop and a two drop. That's kind of aggressive. Concealed courtyard off the top, followed by land land. I'll, I'll take it because then we have a two drop, three drop, four drop. This guy will be online with all of our other good stuff. Pretty sure we got a white card on the top. Ready? Graveborn Muse. I lied to you. There was no white card on the top. <clears throat> well, they put a card on top, so they're not missing a land drop. The nice thing is we actually remove the counters from the treasure map, which is kind of funny. Wow, we are running hot tonight, boys. All I need is one more. I don't think there's many actually responses here. Like, you could crack the Ard Mesa for a Condemn. Hmm, all right. Just take four. Seems good. How was Elkshire's birthday? Did the deck do well? The deck do well? Uh, we're, this is our second round. This is our deck right now. This is the Elkshire stipulation draft where we took all the sad creatures. Oh, they're going to regret that once we play those Erebos. <clears throat> wow. Some guys have all the luck. This is a Restoration Angel turn? Maybe. Maybe we'll just get in there with you. It is a Restoration Angel turn. We can actually never... We can actually kill your Resto. Oh, we can't get this guy back, though. Yeah, I'll just play Greyborn Muse. Thank you. Facetious Elephant, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Two months and two more months, maybe you can adopt me. We're, we'll get there. We're working on it. That's a that's our long that's our long game. Yeah, for those who don't know, adoption is one of the perks of subscri subscriptions. Subscribing. If you guys subscribe for at least four months, then adoption considerations uh, are an option. Adoption is an option. So it's it's a cool deal. Oh, I like a main phase compulsive research. Not like it's an instant or anything, but it does take up a good a good chunk of your your turn options. Well, that's something, isn't it? Land. I guess I I guess I got too greedy. They had Dismember for our Graveborn Muse. Come on. Oh, if you don't need to be adopted, but you do need a onesie, you can feel free to check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore, and you'll get 15% off of the sweetest onesie that you need. That you need? That you could imagine? Sweet onesie time is really what I'm getting at here. And, uh, you know, you get free shipping and free returns. So check out my affiliate link. It's in the description below, or it's in my Twitch profile. You can check it out in either location. Or you can just type in meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. What's happening now? Dungeon Geasts. Dungeon Geasts. 
my god, everything is coming up Millhouse. You're not a zombie, right? You're just a god. I am just the good. Make two three threes. They have one card in hand. That's pretty good. If they go to scry, I'm actually just going to sacrifice Erebos. Or sacrifice the vampire. What does it say? What you say? You only meant well, but of course you didn't. Scry one. The landmark counter. Then, if there are three more landmark counters, they remove this counter and transform it. Okay. So, they'll go back to one. That's cool. Actually, maybe not. Like, I don't know. Like, the thing is, like, if we do this, they get three clues. It's going to be tapped this turn, though. I'm actually okay with that. If they had Karn, they would have actually just played the Karn. They have the mana for it. And it is during their main phase after they drew. So they already drew their card this turn. That's interesting. They have Day of Judgment? Wipe the board. All right, not white mana. What is this, Marshall Coop? Oh, okay. All right. Well, they have no cards in hand, so that's okay. Well then. And they can go up to four cards at this. Five, six, seven. They can have five, six mana left over, which they're going to do. I have to assume at least one of these is a land. They can't all be good dudes. They're going to play Sheldock Isle already. Reflector Maggio. I assume you bounce a 3-3 Zomboid. Yep, that's fine. Noxious because now we don't have another zombie for the never return. Or the, uh, I guess we can actually make one, but I'm not going to take off, I'm not going to not play Erebos to do that, so. Dreadwander? Eh, land is f surprisingly fine. We can also draw a card here, which is nice. Erebos gives us a lot of options, actually. And they can't gain life, so that's cool. Not being able to gain life is pretty cool. I know this isn't an enchantment zombie. Like, I feel like there should be a lot more tribal cards than there actually are in Magic. All right, that's your last card. I don't like that we pay two life per card, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes that's the price you gotta pay. Two life, literally. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazingly obnoxious. Three, four, five, six, seven, we go to seven. Actually, if we sack this, do we get to keep you on board? Hmm. Is that better? Maybe? 
we have no blockers, we still go to f we go to five actually. I didn't account for the oh this guy doesn't attack, so we actually take five, we go to nine, and then we do go to seven. We don't have to replay Erebos is the thing. So we can actually make a zombie for one, two, three, four, play grave crawler. One, two, three. All right, let's draw a card first. We're definitely gonna draw a card. It's gonna be Graveborn Muse. Oh, Graveborn Muse is in the graveyard, all right. Oh, Mortify is actually pretty good. All right, that's actually good because we can get rid of the Dungeon Geast. Take five. We do want to land here. Land. Oh, that's really good. Wow, that was great. You have two cards in your hand. I'm sure I can kill this now. Yeah, I mean, if they didn't have a counterspell for the Lingering Souls, like, I don't want to risk it, and I'll just kill this guy now. They also passed the turn with a bunch of mana, like, five mana up, so I don't think they have... They might not just... They might just have nothing, which is fine. Definitely double blocking here. Or we can just single block, single block, not care. Because next turn we can go Erebos and Lingering Souls, which I think is fine. Yeah, let's do that. Because this blocks here very, very well. Hey. Mr. Grumps, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I don't have a zombie in play. That's it. I was like, why can't I even cast the other guy? No, you can't. I think we can actually attack here. <laughs> like, they go to five? Erebos is lethal? Seems good. Mr. Grumps, thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for the support. Are we winning this game? Unless they have something like super bonkers here. Eh, that's not super bonkers. That's very good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. All right. Well, that's frustratingly good. Wow, Staff of Nin and Mind Control in the same turn. <sighs> yep. Seems good. Seems fine. I mean, any double black card is actually just kills them with Erebos. So this is a pretty aggressive attack. Oh, girl. And whip it. Pretty good. Daddy's home. Got him. Got him. So Erebos grabbed his whip, came on through. Seems good. Oh, man, 
that's good stuff, dude. That's good stuff. Oh yeah, we're keeping this hand. Bow show. We can also just sack a vampire hex mage for funsies to trigger Lily. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna play this first because they're black, so they could have like disfigure, not disfigure, like dismember or anything really. Uh, Liliana. Heretical Hera. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I see. Well, this is awkward. Actually, we just killed Liliana, I guess. Or we can dismember this guy and then hex mage the Liliana. That seems pretty alright. Is that right? Dismember you one two black. I'm gonna attack Liliana because I think they'll block and we can get rid of the zombie. Either way, we're gaining the two life. Cool. M -m 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 main. Seems good. Thalia is so annoying. But we have some good stuff. Oh, that's a great, that's a great, that is one great. Zombie for zombie. What's in your head? Uh, yes, that is actually a Watsi employee. It says L3, so they might actually just be a level 3 judge. I'm surprised they don't know them by name, though. Sorino. Seems good. <laughs> I also not a huge fan of uh, that zombie art. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gray Merchant into Gray Merchant seems pretty spicy. If we also hit a land, we can go Gray Merchant into land into discard, which is great for everybody.
That's a nice one. Wall of Ice Cream. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven damage seems good. Murderous cut on Grey Merchant. Uh, redirect. Take a million. Discard your last card. Tax Sovereign. You want to trade the heat, huh? Our deck is doing quite well. That's uh, not the great at the top of deck, eh? All right, so what can we do here? We can bring back you for, we can, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess Grey Merchant's still alive, so that doesn't really do much there, does it? Uh, we can actually just return Spell Skite from the graveyard. So this is six mana. Spell Skite comes back for free. Hmm. So Spell Skite we can block here. Attack Soren with both. That way, if they attack with all three, if they don't, if they choose not to block, um, and they attack with all three, we can still save Liliana, which is good. I'm really surprised this deck is doing as well as it. <laughs> this is the sad stipulation, and it's doing very well. Yep, this is fine. Like, having Spellskite consistently on board is pretty strong. <laughs> like, I guess we could have actually killed Soren like turns ago, right? By sacking this, but I don't really care about it, is the problem. Um, Lingering Souls? Porcelain Legionnaire, sure. Four one first strike is not nothing. Doom Whisper also not nothing. <laughs> six six flying trample lifelink with surveil two and we are at thirty three life. Wow. Uh I don't think we're attacking with anything here. I guess we could attack with Vampire Hex Mage. Made my name a while ago. I've been creeping a lot, lol. <laughs> Not really a Twitch nerd, but IPA is telling me to engage. Nice. Nice. I accept. That is a spicy spaghetti. Somebody touch my we won the spaghetti. game. Did you guys see it happen? Did you guys see us win the game? I feel like this is like the mirror match almost. I almost want the languish in here. I don't know if that's good. I think we're also. I think we're fine. Like Ardex did did a lot of did a lot of dirtiness. 
being able to get rid of the graveyard marshal and the Liliana in the same turn and then just have Liliana on board forever was uh, pretty strong. It's a quite good. I actually missed you win the game while I was trying to figure out the Twitch. What can you do? Oh, look, our uh, our sub counts at 5.11. Did a lot of things, dumb, dumb. Know that you will always be dumb, dumb. That's 3.11, okay? God. Is this hand good? Maybe. Depends on how aggressive they are. I'll keep it. I got a hero's downfall. If we can draw a black sun zenith, I think we're actually... Uh, Muy bueno. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh man, I'm so tired of these Glen Sleeve Siphoners. I guess it's fine. They don't get to draw a card, they just get to hit us for two. I don't know if 311 is the goat per se. I think they're fine. I think Nirvana's definitely, uh, I, I actually it was Sublime and Nirvana. That was the huge, uh, the huge con, not contest, but like uh, rivalry back in the day. Black Sun Zenith for one here would actually be pretty decent. I wouldn't hate it. All right, well. Uh, I don't want you to draw a card, actually. I think it's probably better to get rid of this engine than the 3-2 generic creature. Uh, you can blame Corn for Limp Biscuit. That's who you blame for a Limp Biscuit, I think. Well, this is how it ends. Flex on Zenith? No, still no. Three, four. This actually gives us quite a little, quite a little bump here. Hex Mage or Dismember? Ooh, both are good. Both are good. Both of them are good. On the pepper scale, where do the red hot chili peppers fall? Pretty low. Pretty low on the spice level. Oh, I like that they made another guy instead of making an emblem. If they made an emblem, they could have killed our, our Karn, which is nice, because it's six. Instead, we get another Karn activation. I'm game. Can we go Hex Mage Dismember? Kill your Soren and kill your Thalia? That seems good. Oh, you're just going to Conclave Tribunal it. Well, that seems good too. Night Reaper's a pain in the ass. Oh, maybe they're not red hot. Maybe they're, uh... Huh. Huh. I feel like this conversation has gotten a lot more... Ex like, a lot more, uh... That's what I'm looking for here. Yeah, that's nice. That's a brick, boy.
I'm just gonna kill my lily. Killy my lily. So we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to one, but then we gain two. So we go to three. We kill a guy. It's not great, but it's not the worst. something that four five six seven eight go to two this game ended a lot faster we're gonna bring in we're definitely bringing in languish here i feel like we are not the aggressive deck here maybe we should board in the control deck control deck let's do that let's take out gravy and dready and doopy and probably midnight reapy and we're going to take out like five, six of these guys. One, two. Now we have four slots. We can bring in Wall of Omens, Lingering Souls. I like Fumigate. Mortify and like either Fumigate or Languish. Probably Languish. And that seems pretty good. Oh, wow. Seriously? Come on. <sighs> yeah, all right. Fine. We have three playable cards if we hit a land. If we hit a, blue, a white land, so... Oh, I forgot to soar. Oh, Soren was definitely an option. We just actually didn't bring it. We didn't. Ah, that was definitely one of our one of our choices. Come on, isolated travel. Cool. This is how I want my last game to go. Deck overperforms, ends up losing because he can't draw lands. Seems good. And of course, that's a zombie. So. They can just recast their grave crawler. So we'll get rid of this guy so we're not taking a million next turn. <sighs> what block did I start magic? Literally revised. Fallen Empires revised around that time. Here we go. Finally a land. Just kidding. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon. You can check me out on Twitch. And if you're looking for new underwear or onesies or lounge pants or socks or anything of that nature, they're super, super soft, micromodal, high quality. You can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, if you use that link, you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Another thing I want to promote, this is a super sweet custom cube case that I got today. Uh, from Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. You can check out the link in my description. Uh, it is pretty insane. It is an extremely nice case. Uh, this is a... Uh, this came from Coco Bolo Wood. He has a diff 40 different types of wood. And uh, yeah, so if you guys use promo code FRANK, you get 10% off, which is pretty sweet. And uh, if you get a, a custom order of any kind and you mention me, then you know, you'll get some other free perks that uh, you guys can go over. But yeah, definitely support Aaron Kane. He's, he's super awesome. Uh, he's did some amazing work. If you guys don't check him out, you can check him out on Facebook or you can check out the link in the description below or in my Twitch profile. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will check you out next time.